Hello, Vira users. Alex here, your Vira guide, and today I want to show you how to use Z depth path in Photoshop. Something that will bring depth of field effect out of focus to your image, and it's nice, easy three steps to do. So, okay, the first thing I want to do is to bring the Z depth path into my layer, into my uh, Photoshop, and um, I want to uh, control A, control C copy it into my uh, RAM, into my memory and I can close it because I don't need it anymore the second thing is I want to create a mask and to paste that layer into that Photoshop into that mask so I'm going to go uh, layer, reveal all and I'm going to go to the channels and as you see here the new pass was added and I'm going to press Ctrl V and to, pass, and to paste this pass from my RAM into this layer into this uh, channel okay uh, as you see here if I uh, press here on I I will uh, apply uh, the view to see this uh, pass but I cannot see it really uh, working because I need an underneath, underneath layer so I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to delete this layer of course uh, this layer mask because I don't need it from the base layer I'm going to delete it and basically what I have is a base layer is my uh, regular layer and up on this I got um, the layer with the layer mask and the Z depth applied into this layer mask okay so I'm going to control uh, press control D in order to deselect uh, remove this uh, selection I'm gonna stand on my layer and I'm going to apply blur lens blur effect as you see here um, we got this nice um, uh, effect uh, control uh, controller here with uh, all different parameters and in order to see I need to press the preview here as you see I've got uh, another two options of faster and more accurate I'm using more accurate because uh, I think it just works better um, okay in, this is very important here the source must be layer mask um, this is where we're telling the Photoshop to use Z depth pass to use the mask actually uh, in order to um, control the uh, depth of field effect uh, blur focal distance is as you see here um, as I'm uh, if I'm moving this uh, cursor here my depth of field is changing so this is basically uh, what uh, controls um, if you if you say so the target moves uh, backwards and forwards and makes um, and uh, our depth of field is changing uh, from the foreground to the background okay so uh, if I'm gonna leave it right here about like that um, as you see here we got invert we can press the invert and it basically flips our uh, layer mask so um, the um, layer mask the depth of field will gonna uh, work um, on the opposite way um, let's move on we got here uh, different shapes those shapes basically made for um, to make uh, to give a shape to our um, blurness effect for example if you got small particles or small uh, shiny uh, things that uh, shine um, this shape effect can give uh, to those uh, small uh, particles a shape like uh, pentagon is like five uh, corners shape uh, hexagon is like six, uh, seven, eight. I'm using octagon, uh, eight uh, corners shape, eight corner star. So um, this is this, um, this works just fine for me. Okay, the radius, as you see here, the radius is basically what controls uh, the strength of uh, of our depth of field. So um, we don't want to go too high. We want to leave our foreground in. Uh, in focus and our background a little bit unsharp, a little bit and out of focus so uh, I'm on about five gonna be just fine uh, the blade uh, curvature and the rotation is basically refers to this uh, octagon shape it can ro uh, rotate the shape it can uh, smooth the blades um, specular highlights is basically refers to the highlights and the exposure of our image 
so uh, I never I never usually um, use it so I don't find it really useful uh, it's uh, rather uh, make your image looks bad than than, than looks good so uh, I would just leave it without any touch um, noise noise amount is something that gives a look a grainy look to your image uh, sort of a old look image if you're into those stuff um, I like to keep my images nice and uh, clean and sharp so uh, I don't use this effect a lot but if you want to use it you can use a Gaussian or uniform as you see here Gaussian got more uh, different distribution of, uh, of colored and uniform is a little bit more lighter um, also monochromatic is um, uh, black or colored uh, amount uh, noise amount of noise to your image so um, this is basically it press ok and let's go to Photoshop to see how it works here okay um, as you see here we do not see any change this is because we got this uh, layer mask uh, applied to our layer in order to see something we need to delete it so just go ahead and delete this don't press apply press delete because uh, if you apply it you won't, you won't see any change so press delete and as you see here um, our layer uh, got really nice depth of field effect and just to show you this was before everything was sharp and this is how it looks nice with uh, with out of focus background um, so really nice pass I'm using it a lot in order to bring a little bit more photorealistic look and uh, to point the eye uh, to the foreground in order to um, ignore the background and, and less concentrate uh, on, uh, on things that uh, distract our attention um, so this is basically it um, by the way tomorrow I'm going to release uh, my Photoshop training and I'm really really happy about it because it took me so long to create it um, all those tips and tricks we're gonna uh, I'm going to explain it uh, there in really detailed um, detailed uh, explanation so um, if you want to get it I'm going to sell it with PayPal so uh, make sure you're gonna have a PayPal and um, see you tomorrow. This was Alex, your weary guy. Talk soon.